So this is what I normally like to eat for breakfast. Comment down below what you like to eat and maybe next time we can eat breakfast together. I usually work out at the gym but you know sometimes we're just at home and have the equipment so as long as I get a workout in then that's fine with me even if it's a light one.
so I'm not much of a reader but when I started my spiritual journey my mentor gave me the first book that she read when she started her journey about 12 to 14 years ago and that book was called A Conversation with God An Uncommon Dialogue and I never thought that I would get through that book but somehow I ended up finishing the whole thing and I loved it and over the past couple of months I've met people in my life who have been giving me this book uh, been giving me books so this is a book that I got for myself um, because a good friend of mine told me that this is um, a book that she reads every year it's not a spiritual one but it's called Ego is the Enemy by Ryan Holiday and I feel like this is something that could really help me in my life. So yeah, you guys should read this book because so far I'm really enjoying it and it's a really easy read. Early on in her ascendant political career, a visitor once spoke of Eleanor Roosevelt's passionate interest in a piece of social legislation. The person had meant it as a compliment, but Eleanor's response is illustrative. Yes, she did support the cause, she said, but I hardly think the word passionate applies to me. As a genteel, accomplished, and patient woman born while embers of the quiet Victorian virtues were still warm, Roosevelt was above passion. She had purpose. She had direction. She wasn't driven by passion, but by reason.